day up around the world. So it's a double up, 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 double up. You're mad enough for talk. We're not gonna hash up back in all of them things there again. You see me, we're gonna talk about where they're right now, but just so people understand who I'm talking to, them know it's Ricky Carl. All right, so um, let's not go back into all of that. You see, but what inspired you moving to music to become an artist? Well, it started when I was 12, I think, or 13, one of those age, when I first saw 50 Cent, the rapper. And we all, he came across and we all, he impacted people in a positive way, which in myself included. That made me start to think that maybe that should be the journey for Ricky Carter, you know? And then we start from there. Yeah. So, so you um, trying to go into music, though, you chose kind of a shot marketing kind of vibe where people right. never expect that. And I thought it was very brave. I got people, I go, yeah. I, go, I, go, I go slash it and say, no, wait, wait. But guess what? Yeah, man. In really the art, matter. you have to put your art out there, isn't it? That's and true. There's a product for everyone. So why not? Right. You know what I mean? Right, 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 right. So it's a very big risk to take. And obviously, it's paying off because you're still here in 2021. And it's yeah. going on for you. I understand you have an EP coming out or did it drop recently? Right, yeah. So the EP is scheduled to release on October 1st. Mm -hmm. So that's what, next Friday? Next yeah, man. So Friday. It's, it's not out yet. But we have three of the songs out, which is Double Up, which is the one we, we are campaigning. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. I hear a track. Press yeah. on them. And also Sauce, which we just released um, last week, Friday, which is getting a lot of traction. So, yeah, man. We just are going to stir the pot, you know? All right, so yeah. let's talk about each song. I want to dissect each song now before we get to double up. Um, what is Sauce about? Because you dropped that one first, obviously. Um, what yeah. inspired that track? Well, Sauce, we dropped that one there recently, but that one there is now really about, you know, more while when you go through something in your life and you can't really figure out what the exact solution or what you're supposed to do. So, like, sometimes different people, depending on which part you are mentally, you might end up respond to it differently. So the song was just basically summarizing that not, it not really matter where you go through in your life where you think are the worst thing. You still, there's a, a positive side to it. There's a different side to it. I just, you have to search and find it and don't give up just because of the current circumstances. So that's, that's what it's about. That's what sauce is about. And I mean, it sounds kind of true to home too, you know, with how you started in music and thing. Yeah. Um, was it written for that purpose or, you know, what, what was the purpose of making this one? No, not really. Mm -hmm. in, in life, every single day, me as just like everybody else go through different obstacles and different things. So it was just a period in time where like it was a dark moment because we got through some other legal issues at the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're not forgetting and, it, but yeah. Right, right. So... You know, it's just like a motivation song for other people where probably I go through, a, 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 you know, a moment. Yeah. Because yeah. actually that song was recorded like maybe two years ago or so. But we just always know say it will be relevant because of the content of the song. Yeah. So, yeah. The people yeah, can man. always relate to them content. I mean, whenever you drop it, you know, right. it's a song that will last through time, you know. So people check it out. Check out the um, EP it's dropping next week, Friday, October 1st. Yeah. Um, October first, right? What's the name of the EP? It's called Checkmate. Checkmate. <laughs> it's yeah. like a whole statement. Yeah, make with that you know. Checkmate. <laughs> yeah, man, definitely. Uh, why checkmate? Well, like you say, it's just a summary of everything we happened because, like you said, Ricky Carty was like the biggest underdog ever. Outcast, you was that right? right? I've heard Outcast, you know. Yeah, and Outcast. Not even the group did Outcast <laughs> like all them Outcast, Ricky Carty. Yeah, man, so, no fire burn, man. Yeah. so we just are trying to show them, say, listen, no matter what it really matters. You see, because Rick Carty was chosen by God, mm -hmm. it not really matter. The whole world can group up. It still mm -hmm. can't stop nothing, you know? So that's why, that's why it's called Checkmate. Checkmate. I mean, yeah. it's pretty impressive. Um, yeah. I, I would compare it to, to being like a phoenix, you know, rising from the ashes and becoming right. something greater and even, you know, pro right. of yourself right. as people. You've heard me say it last week when I first played the song, and I'm going to say it again when the artist is here. Double Up is a song where speak to me. At 2021 right now, we are trying to stack up the paper. So, Double yeah. Up, 
everything, double up, everything that is good, double up. Double um, up, yeah. How many tracks are on the EP? Six. We wanted to fit seven, but it, it, it didn't work that way. So six, uh, six of the songs are on the EP. Is there any significance to the number six or, or why you wanted to do seven? Do you have lucky number seven or not like that? Part? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, it's just that it just end up work that way. There. You, know, you know them type of way there? Yeah. It just end up work that the message how I try to convey with the EP, even though, like I said, we still are trying to keep it entertaining at the same time. It just work out to be the number there. So mm -hmm. who knows? Let's see if it's a lucky number or what kind of number. <laughs> Hey, do you have any videos out for any of the songs, them? Eh? Yes, definitely. Double up as a video and also press for them. Press for them also as a video. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What, what's the concept um, in press for them video? What we can look for? Well, with press for them is like also another liberation. Like it, it, you just add gas, you know. Mm -hmm. Even if you feel like you floor the gas, you have to try to find another level to it and you can't stop ever. Because, like I said, life is a thing we always are through things, challenges at you. So, mm -hmm. despite whatever, you just can't stop you. If you just remember the reason why you do it and go and press on them the same way. No. Yeah, man. Do you have any um, collaborations on the EP? No, yeah, no I collabs and no collaboration on the EP. Right. Are you looking to do any features or collaborations um, in future or have you gotten any? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I've, I've done before and, I've, and I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, man, in the future, definitely, we work with anybody we're talented and we, we share a similar sentiment, you know? So we, we, we do features, we're open to that always. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of music would you say that you do? Because I've got the inspirational side, I've got the money side, um, but yeah. what is your key theme that you want to stick to or what does your music say when you, when you put out your song? Well, the music just speak to my life, you know, because Ricky Carty is a youth where, you know, hustle for whoever you have and continue to do that. But like you say, you have different many aspects of that. Like everybody else's life have different aspects and layers to it. So yeah. them can always expect Ricky Carty to be Ricky Carty. That's the only <laughs> thing them can expect. Me can't say nothing else where, where them can expect because we don't know, you know. Music, like I said, I really limit myself. I put myself in a box to say, oh, may I have to do it this way or that way. Yeah. Whatever I feel like to do, that's just what, what I do, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, know that you say it like that. Whenever, whatever you feel like doing, that's what you do. Um, mm -hmm. Tell us about your creative process. How do you go about making a song? Well, sometimes the song itself just appears to me, like whether in a dream sometime or... Yeah, sometime. That. <laughs> you dream of the song, then. <laughs> yeah, man, sometimes you dream... May, may I tell you with some Top so Dog, the number Dream of Top Dog is a, another oh, single yeah. we put out before. Yeah, man, Dream of that song. Yeah. yeah. Like, you got lyrics in the dream, or you just have a vibe or a concept in the dream, and you just write about it? How, how did it work? Both. Like, it's like me see, it, it was like a story. Like, me meet up with, like, I meet up on a mountain, mm -hmm. and we meet up with, like, a figure. We can't really explain the figure, but the figure I show me. A rolling so, calf, basically. Right, and I show me say, yo, this are the thing that are that rare, rare, rare. This are what you're supposed to do, you know. So that is it, and then we we'll go from there, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, on a usual basis, more while me's a man, me like to have a, a beat, to write to the beat. I mean, I can make something without the beat, but me prefer to have the beat so we can know the vibes of where I work with, you know. Also, oh, the rhythm sometimes inspires the track. Yeah, man, definitely, most definitely. What is the, the actual process, though? Do you write the um, lyrics or do you just go in the studio and vibe and pick up from where you left off and think? How do you do it? Well, sometimes we do it that way, but uh, most of the time still, more I just sometimes create a melody, jot it down on the phone, and then, you know, create the verse in my mind and then record it. If I if know some now, I'll go to the studio later, or I'll now go tomorrow, I'll just record it so I can listen back to it and mm -hmm. go from there. Sometimes I end up finish it in the studio. Oh, man, man, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the um, response like to the, to the new tracks? Now? The new, I'll say the rebranding of Ricky Carty right now. This new face. Well, you have mixed feedback, you know. You have some people who understand overs, like probably you, which you probably have a higher IQ, so you can understand. <laughs> <laughs> or really, yeah, I well, yeah, well, the forward there. <laughs> You see me? It's just how it is. It's just the world, yeah. you know, and everybody race. So 
you, you have mixed feedback. Some people not gonna understand, some people overstand, but I think over time everybody will, you know, figure it out eventually. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. What are the expectations for this EP you now? What, um, what levels do you think this can take? Is, is it just to reintroduce the Ricky Carty with music or is it to put you on like an international level? What are the expectations you have for this one? Well, I would say the first one, just to reintroduce Ricky Carty. If that if, if it also takes me on an international level and also, well, fine, mm-hmm. that I would appreciate that. But it's, it's mainly just to reintroduce Ricky Carty. People understand what Ricky Carty really is about. Mm-hmm. And then you don't know from there, we just, you know, continue to be Ricky Carty. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> people, you're listening to Ricky Carty live interview right here, Linkage Radio 101.7 FM, also streaming on my Instagram at Jimmy QJA. Um, I want to ask you about the four corner chain you are wearing now. Is okay, it, yeah, man. You wear a big giant gold chain full of ice, four corner. What's the significance of that? Is it is a group or your team? Yeah, well, four corner mm-hmm. was originally founded by Ricky Carty. So anywhere in a, any song or anywhere here, Rick Four Corner, it was that's the inspiration. Oh. So, but you don't know, Ricky Carty is not really the type to try to. We're not gonna be like, oh, yo, you can't say this or you can't use that or whatever. But mm-hmm. Four Corner itself, it stands for like people in life where it's similar to me, where want know what they want and aggressive going about it. Mm-hmm. Them not really try to step on or two in the process, but if it happen. I somebody put them two in the way and we just go over there go bulldoze it, you know? So yeah. it's really just about positivity and prosperity. That that is the real four corner way. So yeah, we got the chain to symbolize that. Yeah, yeah. man. Mad, mad. I mean it's a good vibes reason with you. Um I like the, the chain. Likewise. As I've said it before, um, it's a positive outlook and we're looking for people to understand and you know, accept the reintroduction of Ricky Carty with them song, your people. And you can just take my retreat, go and listen. EP I drop next week, um, October 1st. It's a Friday. Right. Yeah. Um, let, let, let the folks listen you know what's the um, handles for your social media and where they can find you, Auntie. All right. So Instagram, Ricky Carty Official. My fault, people. I don't really use Instagram like that. You see, because Ricky Carty is a youth in the street, same way, kind of red. We don't know what I mean, I say. But you don't know us forwarding, we have to go end up start to give people them more of ourselves. So Instagram, Ricky Carty official. Twitter, even worse. I am Ricky Carty. Facebook, Ricky Carty. YouTube now. That's where you definitely find Ricky Carty. Ricky Carty official. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah, um, if anyone wants to get in contact with like management for like bookings or collaborations, can they just send you a DM or is it like an email or a number you want to give out? Yeah, well, the best way to contact Ricky Carty is still at the email and my Instagram, which is Splice Media Entertainment. We can also contact my manager, Aleem, mm-hmm. at Space Thought Studio, Aleem Jump at spacethoughtstudio.com. Mm-hmm. Those are the two main ways. There's no other way to contact Ricky Carty. So if you see page is gone up and it's not, it doesn't seem authentic, it doesn't matter what people tell you that's not Ricky Carty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so finally, who are some of the people that you're working with, your team? Because you have to big them up to, you know, your producers, um, you know, your managers, anybody in the, in the um, entourage? Yeah, well, we'll give you the full sauce. <laughs> yeah, just bless up some people. I mean, I know real people. Yeah, man. Well, definitely shout out to the team. Like you said, my management, Ali, Space Art Studios, mm-hmm. PR, Kimmy. Yeah. Uh, the producers will make the tracks. With video, videographer. Tev, mm-hmm. um, you don't know, the, the Four Corner family, G Steel, everybody, Fire Bungles, you don't know a thing already. Right now, if you call, if, if me is supposed to really shout out, my mother, first and foremost, definitely my father. Mm-hmm. You don't know, my brother them. But if me is supposed to start calling him right now, I think it, it, it all end Because Ricky Carty is the, the most, the most, Actually, in the streets, artists where we're actually tied to the people. You can't find another artist like Ricky Carty where anywhere you go, mm-hmm. somebody can say, Yo, Ricky Carty have a personal impact on him life. Ricky Carty is the most number one in that department. So, shout out to everybody in the world. Shout out to yourself, Jimmy Q. Yeah, man. You see the vision from early, and you're going to be a legend. You already is a legend, but you're going to be an even bigger legend. When I reach there, I work on it. There will be a bigger legend in the future. We can see it, you know? 
Yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, man. It was a good vibes in for reason with you. And people never tell you again. The EP drops on the 1st of October. Everything, Ricky Carty. You can just Google him. Very famous. Ricky Carty official on Instagram. <laughs> but YouTube yeah. is where you're going to find all of the thing them. And right. yeah, bless up yourself. Um, this is Linkage Radio 101.7 FM. You know, tri state era. This is Ricky Carty, people. I'm there live. And I'm going to leave with this track. Um, as me say, my favorite track from the EP. <laughs> and it's called Double Up. Ricky Carty, bless up yourself. Yeah, man. Bless up, Jimmy Q. Salute. Nah, nah. Work, man. Still money up. <laughs>